I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and in my in my very recent video I did um, I showed you my craft share where I did my little trick-or-treat chunky mini album and I did tell you it's right here I did tell you that I was going to show you a kit that I've put together that I'm gonna put on my Etsy store so it's in this little craft bag and I want to share with you what goes in this kit it's really cute and I'm just gonna take it out piece by piece it's got similar contents to what I had in mine but you're gonna get a six page um, mini album with a ring and I think I actually have a couple other rings in here you can go ahead and punch another hole in that you like I did I put two two rings in mine and then the papers that you're gonna get these are from the Tim Holtz craft resist Halloween pad and you're gonna get uh, four these are um, pardon me six by six pages so you get that one this one this one I love this one this one is like vintage um, trick-or-treat bags like when we were kids and the neighbors would pass out trick-or-treat um, treats and they would come in those little baggies uh, and they were paper glassine and they had the little printing on the front that's what that is and here's some another one oh that's the same one and you're going to get one of these and one of these. Oh, I guess you do get two of those. Okay. And then you're going to get some solids. You're going to get a black textured enamel. You're going to get a green glitter, a black glitter. You're going to get a coppery colored um, foil texture, a green glitter. And then you're going to get some solids. You're going to get two purple, two green, two black and two orange. All right, the fun is just beginning. Let me let the cat outside. Come on. All right. Then we have some border stickers, which are really cute. These are adhesive. You can just peel off the back and cut them to the length that you like. There are six different border stickers. You're going to get a couple mini flat paper bags. You can make really cute pockets with those. You're going to get a couple of these spider tags. You're going to get this is like a wine label, and so is this one, those two. You're going to get a total of eight doilies, two each of four different sizes. So they start at around four inches or five inches and they go down there gradually. You're also going to get four of these little tabbed Rolodex cards. You're going to get two small paper sacks, two black number 10 envelopes, and you're also going to get three black 5x7 or A7 cards, as well as three brown A7 size cards, and those are 5x7 cards. So I thought I'd put so much stuff in this kit by the time I was finished making it that um, there was plenty there for you to make some cards along with the album, because I didn't use nearly as much in the album as I thought I would. But still, this is a great value, and there's a lot of great stuff in it. You're going to get a package of brads, buttons, uh, brads and buttons, and some really cute decorative brads, and some fabric brads. And you're also going to, they're, they're all mounted on a card, and you're also going to get that, um, that decorative binder clip as well. Here's some flowers for you. These are each three layers, and they come apart, and they're held together with a brad in the center. Those are Petaloo um, petal flowers. You're going to get two yards each of um, gold, silver, and cream color beads. You're going to get six each of the large and the small shipping tags. I believe there are 24 different translucent um, 
decals. Pardon me. They're, well, they're, they're decals, yes. They're, they're adhesive stickers, and they are printed on um, clear plastic is what they are. And here are four decorative shipping tags for Halloween. And here you're going to get also, you're going to get 24 glitter accents um, die cuts. You're going to get two glittered spiders. You're going to get some purple flowers, and I believe that there's two dozen in there. You're going to get a dozen different foam and glitter shapes, as well as one felty adhesive sticker. Oh, there's two felties, pardon me. You're going to get one bunch of silk leaves. You're going to get one magic key. You're going to get one spider bling sticker. And in here I have a half a dozen bottle caps as well as some, let me open this up for you. You can see. Let's see. You're going to get some of these square gems as well as these cute little glittered pieces that you can put throughout your album. And they all have a Halloween theme. There's bats and pumpkins and skulls and the, um, the gemstones all come in purple, black, clear, and emerald green as well as yellow. Hmm? Flip them over. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there are six of them. I'm thinking, I only see five. <laughs> okay. And the way you can do these bottle caps is you can put these accents, like right here, and you can glue it on there, and then you can use an accent, or you can actually cut a piece of decorative paper out, like with a cute picture, with a one-inch uh, circle punch, and then you can glue that in the bottom, and then you put uh, crystal effects on top of this, and um, it will dry clear like an epoxy finish. Okay, and then what you're also going to get is these really cute little acrylic flowers. You're going to get six of those. And then they also have mounting stickers, and I'm just going to put those right in the bag there. All right, and if that wasn't enough, now we have to have trims because it's no fun without trims and ribbons. So what I've done is um, I really had gone crazy, but you're going to get two yards of tool in these colors. So you're going to get lime green, black, orange, and purple. And I went through my trim stash and I just couldn't help myself. You're also going to get about three yards of orange crepe. And there's two yards each of black eyelash, uh, small crochet accrue trim, and then we've got the lime green and the purple uh, iridescent rickrack trim. Two yards each of the, these ribbons. They're, the polka dot ribbons are grow grain, and the satin ribbon is a double-edged satin. So you're going to get purple and green and then the polka dot ones. And then here you're going to get a couple more double-edged satin ribbons um, with the mice. You're also going to get the feather edge and the, the glittered feather edge um, organza ribbon in orange and purple. And then that black ribbon is an organza ribbon as well. And then here's some more fun printed ribbon. Happy Halloween. There's some with ghosts and owls, spooky, and a um, picket fence. And then last but not least, we have some twine. I have some orange uh, baker's twine and green baker's twine, some black crochet thread, and some really cute um, cotton uh, variegated yarn. So, and because I know some of you aren't crafters but would aspire to be, I'm also throwing in a roll of double stick sticky tape and one tape runner. Uh, I think that you can do a lot with what I have here. 
and you can get really creative for Halloween. You can make all kinds of cards. You could make an album. You could do a lot with this with these supplies. Um, with a little more of this tool, you could even make a really cute little tutu for your little grandbaby girl <laughs> for Halloween. Um, so that's my kit. And I'm going to put this up on Etsy, and I'm going to put the link below so you can go check it out for yourself. Remember, there's a lot of supplies here. You could make more than an album. You're going to be able to make some cards and a bunch of other stuff, too, if that's what you wish. So um, I hope you'll go check it out, and thanks for indulging me. And until next time, I'll see ya.